Hello and welcome back to the Monster Talk Report. This week we move to Anaheim, California for rounds 2 and 3 of Stadium Championship Series Red. The theme of rain continued throughout the weekend for not just Anaheim, but San Diego as well. The rain continued to bucket down, creating some of the muddiest shows in Monster Jam history. With that in mind, it's time to take a look at our field of trucks. Our field of competitors tonight consists of Adam Anderson and Gravedigger, Tom Mance and Max D, Todd LaDuke and Megalodon, Camden Murphy and the Bakugan Dragonoid, Bryce Kenny and the Great Clits Mohawk Warrior, Kayla Blood in Soldier Fortune, Jamie Garner in El Toro Loco, Cole Vernard in Black Pearl, Travis Marion, Velociraptor, Mike Christensen in Vendetta, Nick Pagliarulo in Kraken, and Matt Pagliarulo in Jester. As mentioned earlier, the rain created interesting and incredibly muddy conditions that drivers had to adapt to. One thing that was important to note was the change in racing style. Instead of the extra lap on the berm, as they did in Oakland and intend to for the rest of the season, they only did one lap on the berm due to the conditions. In round one of racing for show one, Bakugan Dragonoid defeated Megalodon, Velociraptor defeated Jester, Kraken defeated Vendetta, and Max D defeated El Toro Loco. In round two, Gravedigger defeated Bakugan Dragonoid, Velociraptor defeated Soldier Fortune, Great Clips Mohawk Warrior defeated Kraken, and Max D defeated Black Pearl. In the semi-finals, Gravedigger defeated Velociraptor, and Great Clips Mohawk Warrior defeated Max D. For the final round in racing, Great Clips Mohawk Warrior defeated Gravedigger. Despite Anderson crossing the line first, missing the lane almost completely was deemed as a 5 second penalty, netting Kenny the racing win. If you recall in Sydney, Brandon Vincent pulled off the Tombstone Moonwalk off the backflip ramp. With the insanely awful conditions prohibiting regular moonwalks to not being able to be pulled off successfully, many drivers attempted the Tombstone as part of their two-wheel runs. Some, like Todd LeDuc, may have overdone it just a tad, but many found success with pulling off the move. In third place was Jamie Garner and El Toro Loco, who didn't do the Tombstone, and instead pulled off some fast and exciting donuts, blowing the smoke as well to create almost a whirlwind of smoke kind of effect, which was pretty awesome. Taking second place was Camden Murphy, who performed not one, but two incredibly impressive tombstones off the backflip ramp. If that finished second, then who was first? Well, that honor went to Adam Anderson in Gravedigger, who pulled off a failed slap wheel attempt, but did get some big air, and pulled off a successful tombstone off the backflip ramp as well, though not as long as Camden's. Many believed Camden was snubbed from a skills win, but that's fan judging for you, so I'm not really sure why you guys are surprised. For freestyle, the conditions proved to be interesting, as many drivers had to fight the conditions, but still put on a show. In third place was Adam Anderson and Gravedigger, who had an impressive run for the most part with some huge air, good momentum, and a failed backflip attempt. He also came up short going from the outside berms into the middle pod, casing the bottom of the chassis but popping it up briefly into a stoppy. In second place, and bouncing back from his awful first weekend in Oakland, was none other than Tom Mance in Max D. Mance's run may have started out slow, but seemed to make the most out of the difficult conditions with some solid air and momentum, along with a perfectly executed backflip. Kayla Blood's freestyle was nothing short of impressive with the best momentum of the night, a pretty big vertical jump from hitting the pod, a perfectly executed backflip, and a few technical hits throughout. This is what gave her the freestyle win, as Adam Anderson closed out the show with the overall event championship. Before we get into show 2, Wayne was able to talk to Jamie Garner and Matt Paglarulo about their thoughts from the previous night's show in Anaheim. 
I'm here with Jamie Gardner, driver of El Toro Loco this season. Jamie, you did some incredible things yesterday. The donuts were wild, the freestyle was wild. What do you have for the Anaheim fans today? You know, it's the last show of the weekend, so we're just gonna rock it out. You thought the donuts were good last night? They're gonna be a whole lot better today. You heard it from Jamie Gardner, we'll see what he can do. Hello everybody, I'm here with Goots, and I'm here with Matt Pagliarulo, driver of Jester. Now we got two awesome people out here today, Matt, and it was an incredible show yesterday. It was a big mud fest and the rain did not stop. It didn't give up. What happened yesterday? Run the fans through what went on. Uh, well, I mean, you know, it rained all day from nine o'clock in the morning all the way up until after the show was over. It was coincidental. As soon as the show was over, the rain stopped. It was crazy. But it's, it's supposed to hold off today till maybe five, six o'clock. We're gonna get the show in before the rain. It's, it's sunny, it's cloudy. I don't know what it's doing today, but it's not supposed to rain. As long as the rain stays away, I want to send this just late in the air. You know, we didn't get as much air, didn't get to do as much as we wanted to last night. It's really difficult driving the truck on the track. You know, we had some fun, but we want to have more fun. I want to send this truck and get some big air tonight. Unlike San Diego Show 4, which had the same levels as mine as San Diego Show 3, Round 2 of Anaheim and the third round of Stadium Series Red was still very slick and slightly muddy, but definitely not to the extent that Show 1 was. Thankfully, the conditions had seemed to have gotten slightly better. In round one of racing, El Toro Loco defeated Soldier Fortune, Kraken defeated Black Pearl but could not advance, Great Cliffs Mohawk Warrior defeated Megalodon, and Vendetta defeated Jester. In round two, one of the biggest upsets of the entire weekend occurred with Jamie Garner in El Toro Loco defeating Adam Anderson in Gravedigger. We also saw Black Pearl defeat Bakugan Dragonoid, Grand Clips Mohawk Warrior take out Max D, and however, like Kraken, could not advance, and Velociraptor defeated Vendetta. In the semi-finals, Ghana continued his impressive racing streak by defeating his teammate to advance to the finals, and another upset occurred when Travis Marion Velociraptor defeated the 14-time world champion, Tom Mance in Max D, the final round saw Jamie Garner in El Toro Loco face off against Velociraptor with Travis Barry in a tough battle. However, it would be Jamie Garner in El Toro Loco defeating Velociraptor. Thankfully, the conditions had improved significantly from show one as many drivers now tried their usual moves, though some still decided to try new things out. In third place was Cole Vernard in the Black Pearl pulling off a reverse popper and a giant sky wheelie. Second place in skills was Adam Anderson, who had an even bigger sky wheelie and attempted the tombstone once again, but could not keep it up for very long. In first place was Camden Murphy in Bakugan Dragonoid, who won with two perfect stoppy moonwalks. For freestyle, Adam Anderson and Gravedigger had yet another unbelievably amazing freestyle performance with some huge air, crazy combos, going from berm to berm, to the pod, and then onto another obstacle, and the only downside was not filling time and failing the backflip. Taking second place was Bryce Kenny in the Great Glitz Mohawk Warrior, who had a relatively slower run compared to Adam's, but did pick up near the end. He did fill time and have some nice hits. Taking the win in freestyle and cementing the fact that he is ready to fight back in the championship standings was Tom Mentz in Max D. Mentz's run may have started out like Kenny's, however, it picked up near the end and had some amazing air by hitting the side of the berm and a perfectly landed backflip. He also clipped Gravedigger as he went from the step up and almost landed this really cool twist off the car stack jump down the far end of the track. As reported on in the latest news video, the actual overall event champion was Tom Mance, however due to a miscalculation in the overall points, Camden Murphy was announced the winner at that event. This has since been corrected on Monster Jam's website. Overall, a phenomenal weekend in Anaheim despite the muddy conditions. Stadium Championship Series Red is looking to have one of the more interesting points battles amongst the other series. Adam Anderson still leads the series, 
opening up a 21 point lead on Camden Murphy and Cole Bernard, both tied for second place on the tour as of this week. Bryce Kenny moves up into fourth, and interestingly, Jamie Garner takes fifth place on this series, with Kayla Blood not far behind. Tom Mentor's rise from dead last in 12th place to now 7th place was the talk of the entire weekend, finding his way back from the disappointing weekend he had in Oakland to now back to championship contending. Travis Mary sits in 8th, and Todd LeDuc surprisingly takes 9th after what seems to be a slow start to the series. Nick Pagarulo takes 10th, and Mike Christensen and Matt Pagarulo both tie for last place. Stadium Championship Series Red rolls into St. Louis, Missouri for two shows. The big news is that Paul Jensen will now drive Velociraptor from Miami next weekend due to Mary expecting his second child. It was originally reported that he was supposed to drive in St. Louis as well. However, this has since been confirmed that Travis Mary will drive Velociraptor in St. Louis and Paul Jensen will take over Miami. Any updates from now is still to be announced. I guess we'll see what happens. Thankfully, the closed roof of the Dome at America Center will provide clear conditions for the entire weekend. Tom Mentz will hopefully continue his fight against the other 11 competitors to regain his series championship. However, Adam has stated before on Instagram that he hasn't had the fight in him to battle for a series championship since his first series championship in 2016, and he's ready to battle it out in hopes of taking the series. And even if he doesn't, he is looking to create everlasting memories. With the freestyle performances he's been turning in in Oakland and Anaheim, I'm excited to see what he can turn in at St. Louis. For information on the other tours Monster Jam is running, be sure to check out the latest news video and MonsterJam.com. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon with some more Monster Truck content.